So can I count on you? One last time? All right, kid. Let's go do it. One last time. Welcome back to day five of 50 Days of Drake. We are getting ready to wrap this up. I can't wait until this game comes out. So there are so many things coming out because people have their um, early copies. I mean, some copies were stolen. So um, uh, there's going to be no spoilers this video, um, but I am going to talk about the trophy list for Uncharted 4. So if you don't want to know what is involved in the trophy list, um, you know, stop watching if you don't even want to know anything about it. Um, there's really nothing spoilery in there. There's a lot of hidden trophies. So I'm sure this is, I gave it a quick look over. There's nothing spoilery in here. So if you want to watch it, you can. Um, I could not resist peeking and seeing what it was first because I am just like at the end of my rope, like literally waiting for this game to come out, especially now that, um, all those copies were like stolen, literally stolen. A thief's end was stolen, <laughs> ironically enough. So um, I just wanted to bring you guys this trophy list in case you didn't know about it. You probably do, but um, I want to keep all the news that we get our hands on, you know, so we can share it. The first trophy that we have is called One Last Time. Um, this is the platinum trophy. This is when you complete all of the trophies you get your platinum um so they they were not kidding when they said one last time i can't imagine them bringing back drake the series with naughty dog anyway and i don't think anybody else can do it um i even if they someone else made it it wouldn't feel the same um i don't think it would be true to the story and i don't think i would play it i might watch a playthrough of it but i don't think i could ever put my heart into it Okay, so trophy number two, charted, okay, is Explorer. This must be the easy mode. Um, this is the mode that if you um, are, you know, used to going to get your trophies and farming your trophies, once you're done playing the single player um, mode, you go back and you switch your, your difficulty to easy, well, Explorer mode on this game, and rank up all your trophies, rack up all your trophies, do it on the easiest possible level that you can do it on and still collect the trophies because there is no reason to kill yourself on a harder difficulty getting these trophies. That's what I do. Uh, you guys probably do the same, but go back and do your explore, which you'll probably already have anyway, but do it on easy mode. Makes your life so much easier. Light, oh, so maybe, um, okay, explore is probably very easy mode then. Um, because the next uh, trophy is charted light. So I'm assuming that is the easy mode and Explorer is the very easy mode. Okay, next one is moderate. I'm sure that's like normal mode. Okay. Fifth trophy is hard, complete the game on hard mode. Sixth is crushing, complete the game in crushing mode. That is gonna be really tough to do. Um, there's crushing, but there's no brutal. So I don't know if that's one of the hidden trophies. I'm not sure but I haven't seen a brutal. Um, charted speed run, complete the game in six hours or less. Now that is definitely a lot more time to complete the game than it did in Uncharted uh, 3 and, or in other games. So you know it's going to be a big game. It's gonna take us a long time to finish this game. Um, and then you can do the speed run on easy mode as well. I'm not sure about, I don't think very easy, but probably easy mode. Uh, doesn't say, but I'm sure we will get the um, the info on that. But if it says six hours to complete, I mean, you can complete um, The Last of Us on Grounded, I mean, on in three hours um, and 15 minutes. There's a guy, Anthony Caliber, who does it. He's amazing. Um, and he does it in like three hours and 15 minutes on on grounded mode, which is the hardest difficulty you can do. So to complete this um, in six hours on like any difficulty, I mean, this is gonna be a big game. So I don't know how we're gonna do that, but it's gonna be tough. The next one is first treasure. Okay, it's it's basically set up like all the other, um, you know, uh, trophy guides for the Uncharted games. It's probably, you know, gonna be the same format. Um, find a treasure, treasure hunter, find the first, find 50 treasures, 
treasure master finds all the treasures. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be 100 or 101. Um, and I'm assuming the very next one, the hidden, the hidden trophy is probably the strange relic, which is 101 treasures. So the regular treasure master must be find the 100. I'm assuming there are 100 because that's what they've always been. And 101 is probably the strange relic, which is, I wonder if we'll find it in the fifth chapter because that's where they were in the second and the third one. Hmm. Okay, so let's see if that is, that's probably it. If it comes right after the treasures, I'm assuming. Jot this down. Um, this is find a journal entry. Um, those are the the papers and the journals that we find hidden across, you know, the Uncharted universe here, Uncharted Four. So I don't know how many there are because the next one is Lost Art of Journaling, which is find all the journal entries. So I don't know. I'm gonna say fifty. I don't know why I feel like 50 is a good number. 20 might not be enough for such a huge game if it wasn't such a, uh, you know, wide linear game. I would say 20. But since they're talking about how, how big this game is and how long it's going to take us to finish it, I'm assuming 50. I have no idea. Just my prediction. Wild guess. I have no clue. Okay. So take a note. Found a Find a journal note. Oh, okay. So there's the journal entries and then find a journal note. So those are two different things. Find all journal notes. Hmm. I wonder what the difference is. What would classify a journal note and a journal entry? Journal note is maybe like a whole book. Oh, okay. I remember in, um, let's see, in the Madagascar gameplay when uh, Sam and Nate are, you know, traversing and they go climb up and they find that the sigil one of the pirate sigil which is like a dragon um so that might be jot this down where we have oh okay maybe that's what that is maybe we we have to copy something into our journal and then the note is the actual physical note that we pick up that's what it probably is okay there's the distinction i'm thinking that would make sense so if you're jotting this down we've seen Nate write in his journal, you know, draw a copy of the, you know, copy the picture of the, the dragon, the sigil from the pirates. That's probably what the first two are is when you have to copy something down and it has to go in your notes, in your journal. And the other one is the actual physical notes you find from the pirates from way back in the day. So I'm assuming lost history is when you find all the journal notes that other people have written. So the journal entry is something you do and the Journal notes is something you find. Okay. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is head of the class. Um, that is defeat 20 enemies with headshots. That should be pretty easy. Um, looks like those are the typical, um, you know, naughty dog um, tro trophies where you have to, you know, just beat enemies with, with, you know, different weapons or whatever X amount of times. Uh, you have a head for this business. <laughs> is that from Working Girl? Um, it's like a little Easter egg from a uh, Working Girl movie. Uh, you have a head for this business. Defeat 50 enemies with headshots. Um, that should be, these should be pretty easy on, you know, an easier mode. Um, hangman's bullet. Perform 20 headshots from the rope. I forgot you can do that. I forgot you can swing from the rope. Oh, okay. So either you can swing from the rope and shoot somebody while you're swinging from the rope or maybe when you're being dragged by the rope is that what we're, you know when we're when we're being pulled by the truck and Nate grabs on and we're just in the mud and just you know getting tossed all over the place um maybe we have to perform 20 headshots while we're swinging from that damn rope being you know pulled by the truck either that or when we swing with the rope might make more sense okay um so that's 20 headshots from the rope. That's crazy. Stealth first, ask questions later. I think that a lot of the hidden trophies here are going to be some sort of stealth um, elements like completing uh, certain areas without being noticed and without firing a shot. Um, that's what I think some of the hidden trophies might be in certain areas. But let's finish this one. This one's stealth first and ask questions later. Stealth take down five enemies. Okay. That'll be pretty easy. Shh, sleep now. <laughs> Stealth take down 30 enemies. Okay. 
I like using stealth, so I think it's going to be a good, um, a good mechanic in this game. I thought I heard something. Perform 30 vertical stealth takedowns. That's going to be my favorite move is when we, you know, swing from the rope, I'm assuming. And we, and we just, oh, I don't know. I think it's when we swing from the rope and we drop straight down on them and punch them. That's what I think a takedown, that stealth takedown is. Um, without them seeing you because we saw it in the Madagascar gameplay. Um, let's see, run and gunner. Defeat 50 enemies from the hip or blind firing, which is, uh, you know, one of the usual trophies that we usually have to get in any of the Uncharted games. I think that's been in all three of them, actually. Um, leapfrog, defeat. that's another one that we've had in the past. Defeat 10 enemies in a row, alternating gunplay, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm assuming there's no combat in there, but I'm assuming that's what they mean. Unstoppable. Defeat 100 enemies in a row without dying in combat. That could be easily done in an easier mode. No problem. Sharpshooter. Complete game with 70% or higher shot accuracy. Well, that you could do in easy mode. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that one. I'm worried about the ones that are hidden that we have no idea. I'm assuming those are the spoilery ones, and that's why they are hidden. Um, I will not be... I have, like I said, I have no clue what they are, and if I knew what they were and if they were spoilery, I definitely wouldn't share them with you guys. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> okay, rushing roulette. Oh, that's cute. I like that one. Defeat enemies with a pistol, machine gun, and grenade in that order in 15 S. Okay, I'm assuming that means in 15 seconds. That's tough to do. So a pistol, a machine gun, a grenade in that order. Okay. All right, it looks like about 15 seconds. That might be a tough one. Um, Ghost in the Cemetery. Get through Scotland Cemetery. Now we know part of this game is gonna take place in Scotland. We, we've heard that already. Um, in, through Scotland Cemetery combat encounter without killing or being seen. Here is one of the trophies that I even predicted was gonna be in this game before this list came out a while ago and about, I don't even know what, what day video I did it on, um, where I assumed that they were gonna have a trophy for stealthing through an area without firing a shot and um, getting past enemies without being seen. So. I, that was one thing I, it's, it's not like a big deal, but I'm just saying, I figured they would make that one of the trophies since that was so prevalent in The Last of Us and it was so well done in The Last of Us. So I had a feeling they'd be doing it in this one and I'm glad they did because that's something new and that's different. Butterfingers. Make 10 enemies drop their grenades. Okay, that's pretty good. Boom County. <laughs> Defeat four enemies with the same explosion. All explosive items and weapons a dot dot dot. So I'm assuming it could be like those barrels that blow up or, you know, the acetylene uh, cans or grenades. It could be any one of those. Um, four enemies in a row, that's easy. Just wait till they group together. You know, it's not, and it's better off with like a, an exploding barrel because it just has, I think, packs kind of more of a punch, but either one works and it should be hard to do. Defeat 10 and 60, China Lake GL. Okay. Defeat 10 enemies in 60 seconds with the China Lake grenade launcher. Oh, that should be fun. I love the grenade launcher. I love it. That's going to be fun. I love that gun so much. And it's easy to take out 10 enemies in 60 seconds. You just find an area where there's, uh, it's, well, and, uh, you know, where they're all together and group them up. And it shouldn't be hard to, to find. I wonder if we can, you know, throw distractions like we could in The Last of Us, like the bottles of bricks. I wonder if that, maybe that'll be one of the hidden trophies, you know, use distractions. But there is no talk of distractions in, in this whole time we've been talking about this game, so I doubt it. But that would be pretty cool if it was like a hidden trophy in one area, like only one area. Okay, the next one is Hang Tough. Destroy 10 vehicles while being dragged from the rope. Okay. That's what it is. Okay, so the vertical takedowns is when you're swimming, swimming, swinging from the rope, and you, and you just plow into them um, and take them out. Now this one is when you're being dragged from the truck with the rope. Okay, destroy ten vehicles. That's gonna be tough to do. How do you destroy ten vehicles? <laughs> that one's gonna be a hard one. Let's see. Run the table. Defeat enemies with the stealth attack, melee attack, headshot, and explosives. Dot dot dot. So I'm assuming. Okay. I'm assuming that's all in a row. I'm assuming that um, it has to be done like, you know, uh, in order. It doesn't, you know, it, I don't know if it has to be done in order because like I said, it's cut off at that point, so I'm not sure. 
but um, I'm sure it's one after the other in succession that would make sense. Um, hitting a brick wall that is defeat five armored enemies with melee only. Oh, that's going to be tough because those heavies, the, those heavies are, you cannot, I mean, it's very hard to take them down with a melee. I don't know how you're going to do that. Um, that's going to be tough. Hidden trophy, I'm not sure what that one is for. It might have to do with the defeating five enemies with melee only. Maybe it's defeat ten enemies. You know, usually that, that works like that. I'm not sure. Okay, wingman. Um, perform ten combo buddy takedowns. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's I guess what we've seen in Madagascar. When when uh, Nate looks like he's getting ready to be spotted and then um, Sully comes out from the shadows and like saves him. So I'm hoping... Um, that looks like a lot of fun to do together, which is like kind of like how Ellie and uh, Joel did it, you know, or or Tess and any of the, you know, the other uh, side characters did in The Last of Us. Cliffhanger, pull 20 enemies over when hanging from a ledge. That's fun. Um, we're going to have the Piton. I wonder if some of these are going to have to do with the Piton, um, you know, that's going to help us climb. I bet you that's some of the hidden trophies. About 15 hidden trophies. All right, so after all the hidden trophies, I'm assuming some of them are going to be certain weapons based. Probably some weapons that we haven't seen before, that they're new, um, and that's why they're hidden. Um, or, like I said, something with the piton maybe. Maybe climbing a certain amount of areas with it or a certain area. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it could be. Um, some stealth. Um, I definitely think that some of these uh, trophies are going to have to do with using stealth. Um, it, it could be anything. Um, maybe you go back and play as, like, you know, when you're done, maybe it's different skins you can play as when you completed the game, like they did in the Uncharted collection, you know, un certain unlockables, probably, um, I'm assuming something like that. Continue the adventure, complete the Uncharted multiplayer introduction. I, like I said, I'm going to try and get through some of these uh, multiplayer uh, trophies uh, because I usually don't, but it looks like a lot of fun, and I will once the... Um, main game is done so i hope you guys are gonna you know maybe we can all like play at the same time one day we'll do it uh all get online and uh help each other farm for some trophies would be good <laughs> um get in the game complete five matches in multiplayer that's not too bad that's not bad trials by fire complete all trials on moderate difficulty okay in multiplayer not bad friends forever <laughs> I love it. Spawn 10 sidekicks in multiplayer. Okay, so we get to choose, you know, get to, I'm going to try and play, you know, each multiplayer game as a different uh, hero, diff as a different enemy. That would be fun to try and play as everyone. And Medic. Revive 10 allies in multiplayer. Okay, that looks like that's it. Um, a lot of different trophies. A lot of them we don't know what they're going to be. I think some of them might have to do with different weapons, uh, different stealth um aspects um and these are the multiplayer ones i think all the multiplayer ones would be shown already i don't think there's anything spoilery in the multiplayer but um i'm gonna go with some stealth hidden trophies um the piton maybe the the rope as well um maybe certain guns here and there that they've never used before um and stealth what do you guys think? What are your predictions for these hidden trophies or the rest of these trophies? Um, like I said, I'm thinking one of them might be a brutal trophy that's hidden um, because there there's no sight of it anywhere. So I'm assuming that will be an extra or maybe that'll be with the DLC, like how the Grounded Mode and the Grounded Mode Plus didn't come out until the DLC for The Last of Us, um, you know, with Left Behind. So maybe that's when it'll come out. Or maybe some of them have to do with the DLC. Or that might have its own separate list. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's getting so exciting. We're so close. Day five. We have... Oh my gosh. Tomorrow will be day four. I, I can't even take the tension. The The waiting is, is killing me. It's so close now. It's I'm getting worse. Um. So thanks guys for watching this. Thanks for supporting this channel. Thanks for supporting these videos. It means so much to me. So... I hope you guys tune in again tomorrow. We'll talk about more Uncharted wonderful things. I can't wait. Thanks, guys.